good morning. How is everyone this morning? It's Tuesday morning. I have my minion cut today. Mm. First sip is glorious. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to brighten a dull face. Okay, so, um, hi, good morning, Heather. <laughs> so I am gonna show you a trick and how to create a little bit of life to your face. If you are someone, good morning Robin, that after you put your foundation on, your makeup on, it kind of still feels like, I don't know, dull, <laughs> like blah, like hodrum, is that a word? I'm gonna show you how to change that, the really simple little step. I'm also gonna show you a new color called um, unapologetic and it's in the color the description of the color is on or the name of the color is unapologetic the description is burnt orange look at that is that scary to some of you good morning Kristen good morning Stephanie hello Amy say hello say good morning to me this morning so I can see if I can see comments okay let's get started I am putting on primer first I already have instant lifting serum on which is helps me with my morning bags under my eyes and helps soften the wrinkles. I'm not kidding you. I have this like one right here, okay, that in the morning is like really defined. So that instant serum goes right there <laughs> and it helps soften that area. Okay, so I have my primer on. Okay, here's the trick. I am gonna use liquid foundation, which is pretty much my daily go-to um, foundation, but I'm also going to add, good morning Lisa, luminizer to it, okay? So this is a, luminizers are really, really hot right now. You couldn't walk into Sephora or, what's the other one, Alto or, I forget the other name of the, Alta, Alta. You couldn't walk into any of those beauty places without finding luminizers everywhere, okay? And there are three types of luminizers. There's powder luminizer, there's a cream to powder luminizer, which usually comes in a tube, and then there's liquid luminizer, which I love liquid luminizer for this trick that I'm gonna show you. So if you have this, try this trick. If you don't have it, you'll wanna find, there's several different colors of luminizer. It's kind of like, um, foundation. The difference is, is any color works for anyone. <laughs> it's really just about the effect you're looking for. So the color that I'm using is called Pearly and it's kind of a coppery color and I'll show you what it looks like. I'm gonna take the luminizer and I'm actually gonna put it, see that? And it's, luminizers do exactly that, they luminize. So they create a little bit of a, a brightness to your face, when you apply it to your face, when it hurts the sunlight or certain lights. Okay, so it creates a little bit of a glow and this is what helps give you a, less of a dull face. So I'm actually going to be mixing this with my foundation. So I'm gonna take my liquid foundation and I'm gonna put that on my brush as well. So I got my liquid foundation around the circle and my luminizer in the middle and here we go, we're just going to apply it. And so, I want you, you're gonna see this obviously live, but luminizers aren't going to create a disco ball effect, okay? Because <laughs> I think sometimes people have that fear, like it's luminizer, it's sparkly, it's glittery. No, it's not, it's, lu it's very, very, very subtle luminizer effects that when they hit the light correctly, it just brightens up your face. A lot of times luminizers are only used to highlight the cheekbone to draw the eye up or they are sometimes put right above the brow bone to draw the eye up. But I'm going to show you how to use it on your entire face just to create a little bit of an extra oomph. And you just mix it in with your foundation. And it's not going to mess with the consistency of your foundation. It's just going to enhance it. And then luminizers, well, a liquid luminizer, the, the way that we're doing this, it's not obvious. Okay, so it's not like you're going to put it on all of a sudden you're like, woo, 
like the heavens parted and this glow is happening about you. Um, it's really just when you hit certain lights. So it's going to be hard to see to the natural eye in this, in this camera, in my phone. So you just have to trust me on this one. All right, I'm just making sure my coverage is even. So it's that simple, you guys. It's just to add a little bit of glow to your face. Good morning, Monique. Okay, so that was the trick, and I'll review. If you're just tuning in, I already kind of went over the trick on how to create a little bit of a glow to a dull face, okay, to give it some oomph. Um, so we're going to move on from there. I'm actually going to do a little bit of concealer um, to, to conceal this little guy this morning, this annoying little guy. And I'm just using my concealer brush, and I just need a little extra, extra coverage there. And I think we're good everywhere else. Okay, now I'm going to do a little bit of powder over the top. I'm just going to dust that over the top to mattify my look. But I still, so what's going to happen is those luminizers are going to come through in the natural sunlight. And it just gives your face some oomph. And what I love about it is that it's really sophisticated. It's not like I'm putting on a Bonnie Bell um, glitter on my face. And it's nothing against Bonnie Bell. I think that you could rock Bonnie Bell when you're five. All right, powder's on. If you're commenting, I can't see comments right now. But I'll always come back and check them. All right. So we're going to finish the rest of the makeup. Let me see here if I can see comments. I cannot. Rats. Okay. We're going to come back and do under eye area. And I am using just a powder. This is my new favorite way to do under eye is to use powder. Cream concealer works really well, but I use actually powder foundation for my under eye area to brighten. And I am using the shade Velour, which is two shades lighter than my liquid foundation. And I also like to use the sponge that comes in here and I actually will go just a little bit more and compress that on. Look at that. Love that. And then I'm going to set it using setting powder. Okay, so, as I'm putting my makeup on, yesterday, I thought I'd tell you about my day, <laughs> just because it fills the space and it's something to talk about, but yesterday, I was so happy to get my shipment. I had a huge $1,400 order with like a ton of women dying for their mascara that was stuck in Colorado for almost 11 days, which normally only takes five days for it to deliver, but it was 11 days. I finally got it. I was kind of freaked out that it wasn't going to come, that it was lost. So I was up pretty much most of the night last night packaging it because I want to get it off first thing in the morning to all my friends that are dying for this mascara. So that took a big chunk of my day out. All right, putting on some primer. What else did I do yesterday? Worked out, went to the gym, I did legs. I hate training legs. But it's a necessary evil. 
And I also did cardio. I don't do cardio that often, but I did, um, I did the, I call it the gauntlet. That's the old fashioned term for that stair climber. It's the one that actually looks like stairs. And I don't enjoy doing that piece of cardio equipment, but what I do is I put my headsets in, my headphone in, and I watch The Good Wife. <laughs> so it kind of makes the time go by faster. I'm obsessed with that show. All right, let's do some brows. And I'm only on season, gosh, I think I'm only on season two and there's like six seasons, but that gives me a lot of content to watch while I'm doing cardio. It kind of keeps me motivated. Gosh, I wonder if I need a pluck. <clears throat> I can't wait to get to this burnt orange shadow. I'm also excited because I'm getting my hair done today. Finally, and it's just my roots. I'm thinking about bangs. Hi, Tracy. Did I say hello to you yet? Hello, Tracy. Oh, what else? What else exciting happened to my day yesterday besides constantly refereeing my children? I walked my seniors. There is such a hoot. I had baseball practice, which is my life. So much better when the brows are done. Today I'm going to I'm going to the post office today. You guys, I have I probably have close to 40 packages to deliver. 40. Which when I go there, the little the attendant, you know, the post office person. I'm sure they're called something. Um, cause they're not mailmen to people that are behind the counter. Anyways, they have to enter in like every single package manually, you know, one by one, the zip code, blah, 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 whatever they do, 40 of them. And I'm kind of like hoping that when I go, which I'll probably go in the middle of the day today, that it's like really, really, really slow because who's ever, if it's busy and whoever's behind me is going to be so annoyed with me. Hello, Penny. We're getting to burnt orange. I just gotta put my brows on and then I'm gonna show you, and I'm also gonna show you guys how to do a wide-eyed look. So when you're trying to get your eyes to look bigger and wide and open, I'm gonna show you a technique on how to do that too. All right, you know what I love is that this brow kit has a mess up section in it. So if you mess up, you can do this and fix it. Ta-da! Little brow wax to set this. Oh, that is not the right brush.
if you are watching, if you haven't already, comment for me so I can see if I can see comments because right now I cannot. And I'm kind of bummed about it. Okay. Here we go. Burnt orange, you guys. Burnt orange. Would you ever think to buy burnt orange? I've already seen what this looks like on some other people. Oh, thank you, Heather. I can see comments. Uh, I've already seen what this looks like on some other people, so I'm really, really excited to put it on myself. I think it's really, really gorgeous. I know I probably say that a lot about a lot of the stuff I have, but hey, I'm honestly, it's the truth. I get a little excited about makeup, people. Okay, here we go. Burnt orange. Okay, I'm using a cream shadow brush. This is a cream shadow, which means it dries to a powder finish. So I am going to focus this color on the lid. In fact, you know what I'm gonna do? I wanna put some liner on first. Let's put some liner on first, sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little bit of black liner on. Yeah. I'm gonna do black liner on the inner the rim. So the it's called the waterline. And I'm gonna do the other side waterline. I'm just gonna do the waterline with my black liner. Yes, Robin, let me know how that goes. It just, you will notice, Robin, that it just, when you are out in the, it's really honestly, it'll actually show up more when you're out in the sunlight. And you'll just, you'll see it on your face, just like this luminizer effect. And it's really, really pretty. And it just brightens up your face. So, and it's just a simple way to do that, especially if you feel like, I don't know, your skin's kind of dull and dry. I would say in the winter time, I would need it more than I do in the summertime but some people need it in the summer. Hi, Maggie. Okay, here we go, burnt orange. Burnt orange. And I believe most people would probably not think about using this color. It's like burnt orange, really? <laughs> yeah, really. And I'm gonna tell you right now, it is a very, very, very trendy color. It's very, very hot color. It's trending. Meaning usually when stuff trends, it's what the celebrities are wearing or you know, they they usually set the trends or some reality stars which are considered quote unquote celebrities. And I'm taking this burnt orange. It's kind of looking crazy, isn't it to you? I like it though. But don't worry, you know I gotta pull something together here. But this is, look at that color. I'm pulling it from the inner corner up into the crease and almost to the outer edge. Uh, actually, actually Heather, I think it would contract contrast your blue eyes beautifully. Now maybe you, I wouldn't wear it alone, Heather. I'd wear it with something else. And I'm actually gonna use like a charcoal gray with this, okay? But I honestly, I think that because it's so opposite that your blue eyes would pop. I'll have to find someone with blue eyes for you that's been wearing this. In fact, um, Heather, Kara Lewis Newton, I think she has blue eyes. She put this on, oh my gosh. She wore it just in the crease, but it looked really pretty. It, yeah, it would make your, yeah, you have to. It'll make your blue eyes just like sparkle because of the contrasting color. And you know guys, I'm not really, really well versed on the color wheel. 
but I believe it's opposite on the color wheel. Okay, and then I'm gonna, this is my favorite part of wearing what I've seen everyone else do, is to put the burnt orange on the bottom. Yeah, Heather, give it a try and let me know. You know what, that's the fun of makeup, is you get to experiment. So I'm using a crease brush and I'm pulling this burnt orange on the bottom. Yes, yes. I love that. Okay, so uh, this is, uh, I think the palette five, yes, palette five does has a burnt orange, orange in it, Heather. It does, let's see, palette five. Yes, use the palette five. It's going to be vintage, right there, no. Yeah, it looks pink in this in this um, camera, but it's actually burnt, like a burnt orange. It's almost really, really similar to the color of the new cream shadow. So try that. Okay, and here you can even try it the way I'm trying it. So I'm going to show you how to diffuse it a little bit on the outer corners. This is also the trick on how you get a wide-eyed look, an open wide-eyed look, okay? So I've got burnt orange on. Now I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use a dark charcoal gray. It's called Corrupted, but it's a um, discontinued color. But every, every girl's got um, probably a dark charcoal or a black in their eyeshadow. If not, we have one in one of our palettes, and plus we're coming out with some new eyeshadow colors. Trust me, this color's coming. So I'm gonna use my, I'm going to use both sides of this brush. This is a liner shader brush. And I'm going to take the shader side and I'm going to graduate color from the outside in. This is how you get a wide-eyed look. So I'm going to start on the outside and I'm going to pack it on. Just the outside edge. I'm actually going to put a little more on. Hi, Jody. So you pack it on the outside edge, and then without putting more product on your brush, you're going to wisp it across. And that way it kind of just starts to blend in with the burnt orange. And I'm only going to go halfway across, okay, because I want the burnt orange to kind of pop through. And then take your, this is a, the, like the best blending brush ever, okay? And my company now sells them. I used to use a MAC one, but I don't need more. And you blend it. So you just kind of go in there, soften the edges, and blend it all together. Like the best blending brush ever. And I'm probably going to pull up this gray slightly above. And then, and then, <laughs> can you tell my excitement? I'm going to use the liner side. I'm actually going to line my lid, okay, with the same color. So let's do that. So I'm going really, really close to the lash line and just placing that dark charcoal on the lash line. Just the lash line. Good morning, Erin. I need to get my brush wet a little more.
And then I might take my cream shadow brush and then just kind of go over again with the burnt orange just to make sure everything's blended really, really nicely. Done. Okay, other side. So don't worry, it's gonna it's gonna be even better when I put the mascara on. But look at that. So this is how you open up your eye. You graduate color from the outside in, so dark to the inside, and then I did a pop of that burnt orange, and of course I've got it really, really popping on my bottom, on the bottom. Okay, let's do the other side. So we plant, we pack on the color on the outside corner. And then once you've got it on, graduate it in. Don't put any more on your brush, just slowly bring it across. And I'm going halfway across. I'm also pulling it up slightly above my brow bone to give myself a little bit of an eye lift. And then I'm going to use my um, blending brush and just kind of blend and soften the edges. And I'm gonna go back in with my cream shadow brush and just kind of continue that blending of the burnt orange. And then lastly, we're going to put that same color, hi Tanya, that same color, which is that charcoal gray, onto the lid. Just staying really, really close to the lash line. So. It's not going to be a prominent liner because I'm using a char our charcoal gray. I'm just getting some definition on my lid. So hard to talk while I'm doing this. So there's no wings, just some definition. It's also going to help my lashes look um, a little bit darker. Alrighty, people. Put those tools away and then let's do some, let's clean up the outside edges. Hello DJ Wayne. And then let's um, put some mascara on. So I'm just gonna clean up the outside edge with my concealer brush. Really sharpens and defines the um, look. I might have gone too far in. And then let's put on some mascara. I'm going to use just Epic today. I have been using the Lash Serum every single night, you guys. Every single night. Hello, Teresa. And so, um, in the morning when you wash your face, obviously what's left over from the eye serum should come off. But I always like to just put my little lash comb through my lashes just to separate and make sure there's no residue left from my lash serum that's going to make my lashes clump. There shouldn't be, okay, but just in case. It's kind of like brushing your hair in the morning. <laughs> okay, just brush, you're just brushing your brows getting them all ready to make them look beautiful. Just like you would do your hair. You brush your hair and then you style it. Well, I'm brushing my lashes. And now we're gonna style them. And I am gonna use a Steam Lash Serum. Here we go. I'm mesmerized every time, every time. I mean, I thought my life was already good with a 3D mascara, like I didn't think that I could have this feeling again, over and over and over again. But I'm telling you right now, holy Moses. Holy Moses. <laughs> holy Moses, one coat. 
Now, wow, now you can see the burnt orange really popping. Hello, lashes. One coat. I mean, I could stop here, but I'm not gonna. Do one more coat on the bottom, and then I'm going to do one more coat on the top. I'm going to make so many women happy in the next few days. When they get their freaking mascara, they are going to love this. It's a one-step mascara. It separates your lashes. I know, Teresa, thank you. Oh. So if you're watching this and you're not a presenter, <laughs> and you want to get your hands on this mascara, which is sold out, I am, there. we're doing another shipment. My company is releasing some more of this mascara on September 1st. So I am doing another pre-order, because it's gonna sell out again, because we're in 12 countries, and universally, every woman wants this mascara. In fact, in style. We went so crazy with this mascara that in style, did a review on it for us in style. And then we don't ask them, we don't pay them to do those reviews, okay? They did a review and said, um, yeah, it stands up to what we're all screaming about. Um, you love it, you've been using the serum every night as well. Yes, I know, I know, Heather. I have Heather all my lash lift ladies. Like I want this, they want the serum, they want the mascara. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna do a little bit of a tip on this side because I want them super deep long. Anyways, as I was saying, I'm doing another pre-order for it. You have to let me know by Wednesday though, or actually, honestly, Tuesday night because Wednesday morning, first thing in the morning, I'm going to place another order. Check that out. Okay, so burnt orange. You know what I might do too? <laughs> Let's do just a little luminizer, just a tad, okay? So this is iridescent luminizer, and I'm gonna use my blending brush because I kinda wanna brighten the inner corner of my eye, and I'm just gonna do a little, just a little. See what that does? You love the Epic. Sometimes you use it under the 3D. Yes. Yes. Robin. Like I did that yesterday. I did a demo on that yesterday. Using it under the 3D. And ha <laughs> ha. Okay. So that was Burnt Orange. Burnt Orange. The new cream shadow color. That's our newest cream shadow color. I finally just got that. So you could kind of see the color and how it looks. It's really pretty. Um, and then, of course, I already showed you how to create a little oomph to your dull skin if you've got it. And that's by using a cream luminizer and you mix it with your foundation when you put it on. And then when the natural sun hits, when you're outside, you're going to you're gonna see it's just a luminizing, a very sophisticated, soft effect that really brightens your face. I hope that you saw value in this video. If you did, please like it. Please love it. Please share it. Uh, so that I can help others feel beautiful. And of course, if you are in the market to get some new products and you want to see what I have, um, you can go to thicklonglashes.com and of course, message me if you have any questions. I'm going to go finish the rest of my face. I'll post an after picture for you and you guys have a great day. Ciao.